By the end of this video, you will learn how to create a double exposure effect inside of Canva with some interesting app that is now available in Canva. So make sure to stick to the end of this video to learn everything you need to understand when it comes to creating this effect. My name is Benjamin. I'm a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. And without any further ado, let's dive straight into Canva. Okay, so let's first of all create our dimension and I'm just going to use um, Instagram. Okay, so Instagram and they should load quickly for us. So we'll just choose an Instagram post. Anyone at all should work fine for us. Okay, the next thing we have to do is first of all, choose our images. Okay, so I'll just go into my recently used and add two images I have in here. So we have this particular one and we also have another one in here. Okay, so this is very, very cute. Now, what we are going to do is, first of all, come into apps, okay? And apps, make sure you're searching for blend. Okay, so blend image is what you have to search for. Okay, and you should see this particular logo, all right? Click on it and it should load beautifully for you. So with the next step, what we are going to do is to going to let the app know which image should be where. Are you playing? What type of plane is this? One of the image has to be on top and one has to be at the bottom. So we'll just have to make the app know about that. But before we go back, look, if you're on the free version of Canva and you want to be able to use or try Canva Pro, make sure to check in the description box below, all right? So there's a link I have in there and there are also some free template you can get from there, all right? So make sure to check it out. All right, so we have these two images and we can see we have bottom layer and top layer, okay? So for the bottom layer, this is the image that would have to go there, okay? So that would go on the bottom layer and the top layer, okay, would be the mountain, all right? So we use that for the top layer. So now you can see this is what we have right now. The soft light is what is chosen, okay? But what we have to do is use the light and, okay? And when we click add to design, it will just add our exposure effect in here. So I'll just duplicate it and paste it over here. Okay, so this is what we have. Let's try with another option. Okay, so I'll add a new page, come to element. And the element, what we can do is I'll just add this gentleman in here okay so we increase the size and add this image as well okay so like we did come to our blend image and we'll just clear the selection okay so clear selections then what we have to do now is making sure that the primary image should go to the bottom okay so you selected image and the secondary image should be on the top layer okay so we use selected image and we can see we have the same in here we have a number of blending modes over here so you would sometimes need to play around just to get the perfect one that works okay so we can see we have this one as well and it's actually looking very good what we can do is let me just paste it here and increase the size okay so what we can also do is we can add some interesting stuff let me just show you so come into element and i'll just go back and search for birds okay so we just search for birds and we can just put them in here you know just to add that kind of vibe inside our image all right so we can do this something like this is nice i think it is looking nice it will make people wonder wow how was this done but it's actually very easy and very simple to do inside of canva now so i hope you found it very easy and simple to follow what i would be so excited to see is what you are also able to create so make sure to leave the links of your designs in the comment section below all right and uh, yes make sure to subscribe the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video Peace.